So a lot of people move off grid because they love nature. But I'm going to tell you, nature hates you. It, it does. It, in fact, nature hates all of mankind. We just think, oh, I'll move off grid, homestead, and have nature. So last night, let me rotate. Oh, Blaze lost Hank. Hank's 30 years old. Blaze bullies him around. But in all reality, he didn't lose Hank. Hank hides. Hank hides. <laughs> Hank hides from Blaze, who's a beast, big, beautiful beast. But Blaze was actually losing his mind, weenieing, crying. He literally was crying, crying like a baby. So anyway, get out of the oats. Anyway, I, uh, I thought, well, I better go check because this horse is 38. I thought you were dead, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. So, you know, I, I wanted to make sure if old Hank had passed that, you know, he wasn't just, you know, dead on my front door. So it, it's the middle of the night and he's whinnying. So I decided to go ahead, UTV here and drive around, make sure old Hank is okay. Notice that it doesn't have a windscreen. Well, while I was driving around, I drove right through a big orb weaver spy, a spider's nest. Normally, or or weavers don't uh, don't bite you, but that tangled up on me, and he bit me in the arm. <laughs> right, right there. All I was doing is trying to help out the whiny big horse find his buddy in the dark, and so I didn't have a shirt on. That cobweb comes through the missing front windshield, literally wraps me around like a mommy. And then I could feel that big old ore weaver banging against my body. They honestly, I've never been bit by one in my life. Normally they just hustle up into the trees and get out of your way when you break their web. But this guy was he was stuck. He was stuck to me and just punishing me. So I pulled over, ah, pulled that all out, and I get out and I step on a broad banded copperhead. All because this guy has behavioral issues and separation anxiety. <laughs> He's way too big for me to even care about. Anyway, Mother Nature does not care about romantic ideals of homesteaded. It's just tough, y'all. It's just tough. Look, look, look. I'll throw some food to the chickens. There you go. Oh, isn't that cute? Now watch. The big rooster will come over there and beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> right old Hank and that is the reality of homestead and then they, when they this morning I was a little late so they managed to find one bit of a bag a brand new 50 pound bag of grain and they pulled it out of the container even though it's locked I don't know how and ate the whole 50 pound bag and so then I'm stuck so I, anyway, if you're going to homestead, I just want you to know that there'll be days like that where Mother Nature will stack up against you and she will let you know she's out to kill you. She's out to, even if your heart is pure and you just, that, just out to kill you. So there you go. That's the truth.